In this video, we want to take another look, or a closer look, at order of operations. We know that we have multiplication and division and addition and subtraction. And we know the addition and subtraction sort of go together in one group and the multiplication division go together in another group. But there's one other important operation uh, in terms of order of operations that we have not uh, considered, and that is the whole concept of brackets. When something in math is has brackets around it, right, these two things, when something has brackets around it, we need to make sure that we do that first. There's a nice acronym, and it's called BEDMAS. And this is an acronym that sort of reminds us of our order of operations. Here is our brackets. And the E stands for exponents. The D for division. The M for multiplication. the A for addition, and the S for stands for subtraction. Now we know that the addition and subtraction go together, and the division and multiplication go together. We're not going to look at exponents at all. That's something that will be, uh, will be discussed in, in higher level math. Uh, than this, so we're going to leave exponents out of this, and then in its own, right at the very top, we have brackets. So bed mass refers to brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. And we do our order of operations this way. And most common textbooks uh, will use this uh, acronym called bed mass. So the one thing that we're going to add here is the whole concept, like I said, of these brackets. So we have to remember, again, we're going to move from left to right doing our order of operations, but we have to do our brackets first. Then, after our brackets, we move to multiplication division and then to addition subtraction. So let's take a look at some... Uh, some problems that have brackets. The first problem is 20 divided by 4 plus 6. And we're going to put the 4 plus 6 in brackets. So as we move from left to right, remember bed mass, we have to do our brackets first. So again, doing one line at a time, we have 20 divided by, and we need to simplify our brackets to one number. So we look inside the bracket, we have 4 plus 6, and 4 plus 6 gives us 10. And now 20 divided by 10 is 2. So that's a very simple uh, question with one set of brackets and worth noting here that within the brackets you also have to make sure that you perform your order of operations like in this next example. In this next example let's take a look at 30 divided by 3 plus 2 plus 3 times 4. And so now we have brackets and addition and division and multiplication. And so we really need to make sure that we look after our order of operations. We're going to do our brackets first. If we just take a look at this bracket and simplify it, we have 2 plus 3 times 4. I'm going to get rid of this. Sorry. And we're just going to take a look at 2 plus 3 times 4. Let's just take a look at what's in this bracket. 
because I have to do that operation first. And so there's the blank spot there left for the simplification of this bracket. So I know I'm doing my brackets first. I need to now simplify my bracket, but I need to perform my order of operations within that bracket. The bracket says 2 plus 3 times 4. I need to make sure that I do my multiplication first. And so 3 times 4 is 12. And then 2 plus 12 gives me 14. So inside the bracket, I follow order of operations, do my multiplication first, then my addition, and I come up with 14. Now my brackets are gone. Once I have one number, my brackets are gone, and now I can do my multiplication division, and then my addition subtraction. 30 divided by 3 is 10. And I rewrite my plus 14. And now 10 plus 14 is 24. So the answer to my first problem is 24. Pardon me, my second problem. And now, third example will be 5 plus 7 minus bracket 5 minus 6 plus 4. And so now I see that I have a set of brackets there, and I have to look after the brackets first, according to bed mass. So I have 5 plus 7 minus and plus 4, and now I take care of my brackets. And 5 minus 6, again, on a number line, I start at 5, and minus 6 means I move 6 units, and the negative sign tells me I'm moving to the left. So I move 5 units. That takes me to 0, but I need to move 6 units left, so I'm at negative 1. Now, I'm going to leave my brackets here because this is a common thing in math, and I call it the double negative trap. Don't fall into the double negative trap. When you have a negative or two negatives, we have to make sure we take care of that. What this really means is negative 1 times negative 1. The sign in here is actually a multiplication sign. So don't fall in to the negative, the double negative trap. 5 plus 7 and then minus minus 1 because we cannot write it like this. Never in mathematics could we write this. 5 plus 7 minus minus 1 plus 4. And that's why I've left my brackets around that negative 1. When we have two negatives, you know that two negatives make a positive. Negative times negative is positive. So here, this problem, if we're going to remove our brackets, these two negatives, these two negatives uh, land up making a positive. And so now I have 5 plus 7. Negative, negative 1, or minus, minus 1, turns into positive 1 plus 4. And after I've looked after my signs, then I can remove, you see, the brackets around the 1. So make sure you don't fall into the double negative trap. When you have negative negative or minus minus, it really is a plus or an addition. And so I've removed my brackets, looked after not falling into the double negative trap, and now I have 5 plus 7 is 12. And 12 plus 1 is 13. And finally, 13 and 4 is 17. So a few very important things here. One, do your brackets first. Two, don't fall into the double negative trap. That's a huge, huge concept and a very common error made in mathematics. And after we look after our brackets and our double negative uh, then we just simply follow our order of operations uh, as we normally would. So that gives, uh, gives you a little bit of uh, a closer look at following orders of operations with brackets.